Johnson. Wheat back door. Left. Corner, the Pucker takes the three and hits! Find the roof ball quickly to the rim, the right hand layup! Having that edge on our opponents, having that edge on the Summit League, having an edge on everybody we go out and recruit against and compete against, and that's exactly what this facility is going to give us. It's going to give our coaches the edge to, to teach better, it's going to give our athletes the edge to train better, and it's going to give our fans the edge to come in and support and be successful and help our teams be successful, and that's exactly what this, what this facility is going to do for us. To us, it simply means putting our student athletes in a position to, to be at the top of the league facility-wise, giving them first-class facilities, both academically, athletically, so they can prepare to win championships year in and year out. I think if you look around the Bison Sports Arena, it's not hard to see that what currently exists here doesn't represent our university or our program in the way that it should. Uh, it's been a beautiful building that's, that's definitely served its purpose. It's time to revamp it. It's time to give us that competitive edge to go out and continue to win championships. Uh, this is a, a, a project that when completed will reposition our athletic program. It will be a game changer, not only in the type of student athlete we're able to recruit to NDSU, uh, but the type of events we're able to hold here, uh, not only for NDSU, but for the local community and other colleges around us. This will be a cutting edge facility that rivals if not exceeds anything in the league. And, and that's going to bring a lot of attention a lot of external resources and a lot of success to NDSU. Just like the campaign says, it's going to give us a competitive edge. Right now, when I was recruited on campus, I came in, and granted the building was, it had been around a little bit, but it was still very new. And I remember taking the tour of the facility with Coach Ruley and going into the training facility, the locker rooms, going by the swimming pool, um, and to a high school kid coming from a fairly small school, it was like, wow, this is very impressive. And walking down the halls now, like I said, nothing's changed. So to take a look and, and you bring a future student athlete on campus now and bring them through this facility, it's, it's not going to have that impressive effect until we get a new structure. The success, you know, success breeds success. And, and that's how this building came about. And as the next one comes up, I think it'll just be a, a genuine excitement for the future for all of our student athletes and all of our all of our staff. The old, the old field house is, which is nice now, this is really done, but it was just inadequate uh, for what we wanted to do in athletics. And there was no, there was nothing, this was a, just a big field out here. So Daryl Mudra talked the president into requiring physical education for every freshman who came to NDSU. So everybody had to take it. And then we had a class where we used our, our athletes and our physical education majors at the time to help teach that class, and which is physical activity. So they would meet at the old field house, run out here into this open area, and do whatever activity was. But and that was fine in the fall and the spring, but in the wintertime it was an ungodly mess. There was no room, it was so packed. And it just, it just brought to the forefront the fact that we need a bigger facility. What was then at that time called the new field house was under construction while I was being recruited. And I remember the, the excitement that generated around the program at that time. And there's a distinct memory I have from on my visit being walked up to the press box and looking at a two-ton truck parked in the corner. And the building was so massive it looked like a little Tonka truck uh, you know, on the floor. Uh, and it was just a state-of-the-art, uh, great facility at that time. I had a couple of friends of mine that are on Student Senate as it was being built, and uh, they were telling me that they were getting a lot of positive comments about it. All the athletes I talked to, even the ones that they were being recruited, came in and all we could do is talk about what's going to be the new, the new field house. And it was, it was an exciting time. People were just ecstatic about getting something new. Uh, but then to see this building and know that it was built before Title IX, which obviously was a federal mandate that if you wanted federal funds, you had to also accommodate women and women's athletics. And the building really wasn't built for women. So it took some time to kind of get our foot in the door. Um, I think we were very sensitive not, not to 
negatively impacting men's athletics at the time too. We don't want to take anything away from them, just provide opportunities for women. So to get into the building, I think was our first move and we, we found a custodial area that we could um, change into and, and uh, remodel into a women's basketball locker room that was closer to the floor and would give us an opportunity to, to have access to the floor. I remember that one, our first basketball game here. It was just amazing the numbers of people that were, were here. I mean, the place was jammed, it was rocking. The students were all just having a great time. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. The people, I, I couldn't believe you'd get that many people in to watch a basketball game and, at that time. Because it's probably one of the best facilities that, the, that we had in North Central Conference. Coach Belk was the coach then, and I was a senior in 1969, and I think this building opened in 70. So that was one of the main reasons I came here, besides the fact I liked Coach Belk and I, you know, I liked NDSU. Mm -hmm. But probably the main reason I went here was because of the new field house. Well, I think any Division I program in the nation would say that that wow factor is irreplaceable. And uh, I think we approach that from an intelligent and, and reasonable perspective. Uh, there are certainly some universities in the nation that do things that are, uh, the critics would say, are inexcusable to achieve that wow factor. We don't need to do that. I think we offer the type of university environment and a focus on our students and our student athletes' success that is part of the recruitment package that our universities don't offer. That, that's going to complete the package and it's going to reposition our capacity to bring those student athletes here. Well, I think it has a huge impression. Ultimately it's not the only thing they decide. But when they first walk in and they can see a facility of, of what we're going to be putting together in terms of both the locker rooms and the weight room and the athletic training room and the competition area, that's going to have a huge impact. Couple that with all the other things we have to sell here at North Dakota State, the programs, the coaches, the commitment, the community backing, all those things tie in, but that first impression is going to be very, very important, and that's what that'll give us. Well, really, it comes down to recruiting. It's the heart and soul of your program, and certainly um, that's what it means. It's, it's, it's the competitive edge to give yourself something uh, to be able to give a recruit to say this is where your home is going to be for the next four to five years. And literally, it is their home. I mean, it's where they spend the majority of their time outside of the classroom. It's, uh, you know, it's here. Well, I think the biggest thing is to separation of the, you know, obviously basketball and track and field. Uh, and not so much from a practice standpoint. We've been able to make the practice standpoint, but from a competition standpoint in that, you know, when they're having summit league games, then it's impossible for us to have meet. Um, and vice versa. And so sometimes there might be a, on the schedule a meet that you'd like to go to, but it's the only weekend that your facility is free. Um, and more space, you know, when you consider the number of student athletes we have in all the sports, there's just more space. And obviously square footage is a big thing when you get an increased number of athletes. I think it changes the dynamics all the way across the athletic department. As we look at the Fargo Dome and we look at the, the football offices and the boost that that's given our staff to have a top-notch program. We need to do that for all of our other sports, and that's what, that's what this facility creates, an opportunity to get that player or two that makes a difference in the success of our program. We're gonna play on six seconds, one side for the win! Well, I think that you, you always strive to be the best, and that's a tradition that NDSU is always uh, prided themselves on is they want to be the best of the best and I think that a new facility will give us that competitive edge to recruit the, the athletes that we want to play for us and uh, to provide the quality entertainment for a family to come to a basketball game. Uh, the Bison Sports Arena really was the only big facility in Fargo-Moorhead so we hosted every trade show, uh, concert, circus, Besides being, uh, you know, 24/7, 365 for our, our students on campuses, it was their place to work out. I mean, it was it's, it has a tremendous and storied history, and I'm glad that we're keeping it. A lot of, of uh, outstanding moments were were accomplished. Things were accomplished in this building. A lot of emotion, time spent with fans and players. So it's nice to still have the facility but it's in, in dire need of, of uh, a facelift. You know, it's, it's been used and, and it definitely needs it. And it's gonna be great for the program for the future. Well, to me, uh, 
you don't want to be ashamed of your facilities. And, and right now, some of some parts of this building are, are really kind of, <laughs> they've had it. They've outlived their usefulness. It, it's, 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 it's time. We definitely need things modernized and updated and something that we can be proud to show people in and they'll say, wow. If they're comfortable in this environment, the Bison Sports Arena, they're obviously going to spend more time here. If they have better resources here, they're going to use make better use of that time. And uh, I'd like to think that the times that they are around here together will help them both academically and in team building purposes. But from a broader standpoint, let's look at what this building does. There is no single building on campus that has as many people through here in, a, in the course of a, a calendar year. Look at people that come through these doors and for many of these people this is their perception of North Dakota State University. How about in camps where we have over a thousand camps campers every summer all those potential student athletes uh, or potential even just students undergraduate students here at North Dakota State University. All those factors you know if their perception of the, uni the university is through the Bison Sports Arena it couldn't help but have just a huge positive impact on everything we do here.